Yeah, I mean, I've I played Daigo a few times. Let's see, I played him uh, once in Japan in Super Turbo, where I beat him. So I am undefeated versus him on Japanese soil. I played him a few times in Guilty Gear, casually in, in the USA, where he beat me, and then he beat me incredibly soundly, totally humiliating me um, at, at Evolution several years ago. So, yeah, he's. He's amazing, and I watch him in all these games. So, does he have something in him that yeah. that well, what is, that's what's beyond the relationship the... between born with innate ability and uh, I mean, there's no answer. Yeah, to this yeah no, there's no answer to that. I mean, I, I don't know because if you would have asked me the same question uh, ten years ago, or then again eight years ago and five years ago, I probably at each time would have said, yeah, there, there sort of is a you know, a limit to, to how good any particular person could be and practice won't really help you get beyond that. But then I feel like I've gotten beyond that. So my own old answers <laughs> from years ago would be would be wrong. You know, you, you can really achieve a lot more than you might think. But, but then with Daigo, it really does seem like there is a little bit extra going on there. It's really hard to define uh, Daigo's style and part of it is, is just because of, of the things he's not excellent at. Like, you'd expect that if, if he's this greatest player ever, he would have the best um, dexterity, the best, like, combo execution skill of any of the Japanese, but he doesn't at all. I mean, certainly it's very good, but it isn't, he, he definitely is not the best when it just comes to combos only. So that's maybe surprising to, to an outsider. You'd think like, oh, well the best player certainly would have the best execution skills and, and combo skills. Um, and there's even, even like knowledge of the game. You'd expect that he'd know every little detail of the game better than everyone else. He probably does in his main games <laughs> you know, that, he, that he concentrates on. But I see him like dabble in other games that I know he doesn't even know that much about them and yet he crushes people. So. That's another thing that, that, that it isn't, that, that you know, isn't the explanation of how special he is. Um, so it's, you know, like I say, it's almost easier to define what he, what he isn't than what he is. So how, how is it that what you have left over there is this, this beast that can, <laughs> that can win in so many fighting games? Um, I mean, the, the thing we, all, we always say is his, his Yomi, his ability to read the mind of the opponent. Um, his crazy dragon punch out of nowhere, that how did he know how to do that? I don't know if he even knows why it was smart to dragon punch at that moment. Or I mean, it's, the situations happen so quickly, it has to be an unconscious reaction. He's tapping into clues or something that are hard to verbalize, hard to explain, but that he, he picks up on them and knows they're there. Uh, I was actually talking to Seth Killian uh, about how amazing Daigo was while we were at Evolution and while Daigo was about to play Guilty Gear. Seth said, why don't we count how many times uh, Daigo dragon punches? And by just pure chance, right after he said that, Daigo did, it was either eight or nine dragon punches in a row with no other moves, which is totally ridiculous. Like, who would do that? And it, I remember the match was in Guilty Gear, his soul versus uh, versus a Japanese player's Eddie. And in that match, he's, he's kind of uh, trapped a lot of the time, but can get out of things with a dragon punch. And for whatever reason, he just, he was able to do only dragon punch all those times in a row and hit with like every one of them. So, I mean, it, so it sounds like this made up legend that, that it's like too good to be true, but he really did it right in front of our eyes when Seth said, let's count how many. So, I mean, He's a legend, I don't know what to say.